James Webb discovers a galaxy that could change physics. In July of this year, the time had finally come, after the James Webb telescope had already reached its orbit in Earth's orbit in January. NASA published the first images and data. Immediately thereafter, the search for the oldest galaxies in the universe began. The researchers were not disappointed. One record was broken after the next, and finally, with Sears 1749, the researchers found what is believed to be the oldest galaxy ever glimpsed by a man-made telescope. Find out why this discovery could turn the world of physics and the previous picture of the origin story of the universe upside down in this video. James Webb's Search for the Beginnings of Space the mission of the largest and most expensive space telescope ever has several goals. In addition to detecting exoplanets and exploring our nearest cosmic neighbors, we continue to search for the beginning and end of space, or traces of the Big Bang. Thanks to the finest infrared measurement techniques, the James Webb Telescope can peer even further into space than its predecessor, the Hubble Telescope and above all, deliver even sharper images. Right at the start, the James Webb Telescope made a discovery that could overturn previously accepted cosmological theories and completely change the world of astrophysics. The Oldest Galaxies in the Universe This deep field image was among the first images NASA shared with international research teams and many enthusiastic people on Earth. On display are countless galaxies and clusters of galaxies in addition to stars in our immediate cosmic neighborhood. Of course, astronomers immediately took advantage of the new observing distance James Webb had achieved and eagerly peered deeper into space than ever before. In the weeks that followed, reports overflowed regarding the oldest galaxy so close to the Big Bang that we humans may even soon find clues to the beginning of the creation of the universe. Researchers measure the distance and the age of the galaxies over the so-called redshift, as well as over the speed of light. The bright or bluish lights in this image are celestial bodies that are comparatively close to Earth. Their light was only traveling for a few or hundreds of years until it hit the observation mirrors of the James Webb Telescope. The red points of light, on the other hand, are galaxies several million to billions of light years away. Despite the new technologies of the super telescope, even these galaxies can be seen only as slightly blurry figments. But this image shows much more than stars and galaxies. It's also a glimpse into the past. If the light from a star takes 10 years to reach us, we can see the position of the star 10 years ago in images like these. Accordingly, in the case of red galaxies, we see the position where the galaxies were several million to billions of years ago. Whether the red galaxies still exist today and where they are exactly in space is impossible to observe on Earth because we only see the light and not the objects themselves. But it's precisely this glimpse into the past that is so exciting for researchers. They hope to be able to see back to the beginning of the universe and to the Big Bang. This is thought to have happened about 13.8 billion years ago. The new space telescope was designed precisely so that it can see as close as possible to the presumed beginning of time. Highly sensitive infrared measurement techniques allow new detailed analyses of distances as well as the mass and luminosity of the oldest galaxies in the universe. And it's here that the researchers made discoveries that raise many new questions and could forever change previously held cosmological ideas. The Discovery of Sears 1749 Since 2015, the record holder in the hunt for the oldest galaxies in the universe has been the galaxy GNZ 11, discovered by Hubble. GNZ 11 is about 13.4 billion years old and has only 4% of the size of the Milky Way. According to the Big Bang Theory, GN Z11 would have formed about 400 million years after the Big Bang. The age of the galaxies is given by the redshift value, which is abbreviated in physics to a small z. The redshift has to do with the propagation of light in space. As you saw in the deep field image, certain filtering techniques used by the James Webb cameras make nearby objects appear bright and distant ones appear reddish. 
To find out more details about a reddish and distant galaxy, researchers analyze certain patterns and shifts in the color light spectrum. These patterns allow conclusions to be drawn about how bright, old, and distant a galaxy is from us. The larger the redshift, the greater the distance of the object and the earlier the object was present in the cosmos. The galaxy GN Z11 reached a value of 11.1 Z. Hubble could not see further with its measuring instruments. All the more pleasing to the world of science that James Webb can now theoretically detect galaxies with values up to 20 Z. That such galaxies exist at all was doubted by many astronomers. Previously accepted theories assumed that several million years after the Big Bang, there was not much more in space than dust, gases, and motion. When the first stars and galaxies formed was still a mystery, but it's precisely this fact that can now be better illuminated and seems to call into question everything previously assumed. In 2015, the discovery of GN Z11 had already triggered a small revolution. Because this galaxy already existed 400 million years after the Big Bang, and researchers had not considered that possible up to this time, the astronomers were all the more surprised now that the James Webb picture shows many galaxies with redshift values of 13 or 14 Z and more. It was thus clear that James Webb would fully meet all expectations and provide astronomers with revolutionary data. But even before the experts could start studying the newly discovered galaxies, astronomers from the University of Edinburgh in Scotland topped everything. They announced that they had found a galaxy with the incredible value of 17z. The value would mean that this galaxy had a redshift of 17z or more. The value would mean that this galaxy already existed 220 million years after the Big Bang. The galaxy which first got the designation Sears 93316, and later the slightly different name Sears 1749, shows an addition to its unusual age, further peculiarities, which do not fit into the old ideas of science. Large Mass Besides the unusual age, Sears 1749 has a huge mass, which means that there are a lot of stars in the galaxy. So the oldest galaxy in the universe is anything but a small, puny cluster of stars that might have formed shortly after the Big Bang. With 5 billion solar masses, Sears 1749 is about five times heavier and more massive than our Milky Way and much larger than any other galaxy in its immediate vicinity. Extreme Brightness Sears 1749 also exhibits enormous luminosity. The galaxy's brightness of negative 22 move is actually much too high for a galaxy that existed 220 million years after the Big Bang. Unusual Shape At a great distance, it's very difficult to make exact statements about the shape and nature of the galaxy, Sears 1749. Nevertheless, it could be that this unusual phenomenon is a main and a satellite galaxy, or two merging galaxies. But also these appearances do not fit cosmologically and physically so far into the period of 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. However, with it, we are not yet at the end of the unusualness of this galaxy. The actual fact that turns everything else on its head is yet to come. Schrodinger's Galaxy while the value of scarcely 17z has been confirmed in the meantime, astronomers began to examine the galaxies in the direct environment of Sears 1749. In the process, values came out that absolutely no longer fit into the previous picture of the universe. The cosmic neighbors, namely, only attain z values of approximately 5. These are galaxies which should be far younger and closer than Sears 1749. But how can it be that these objects are spatially in the direct vicinity of a much older and theoretically substantially farther away galaxy? This circumstance earned the unusual phenomenon, the nickname Schrodinger's galaxy. Schrodinger was an Austrian physicist who dealt with quantum laws. Quanta have the property of being in two or more places and times at the same time, much like Sears 1749 appears to be. Schrodinger's cat is a famous thought experiment that states that, in the world of quanta, a cat can be dead and alive at the same time until it is observed by a human with a certain expectation. So with Sears 1749, 
The question now is whether the observing people are seeing something that the galaxy really is not, or whether it is indeed an object that will change the astronomical textbooks of this world. What can the galaxy mean? Edinburgh researchers have expressed scientific caution so far. Under previous assumptions, it's impossible for a galaxy with the luminosity and mass of Seer 1749 to have formed so soon after the Big Bang. Practically, this means that either the theory of the Big Bang is not true, or that the nature of our universe is after all quite different from what has been assumed so far. We hazard some small thought experiments. The Big Bang is a theory which has not been confirmed so far. Researchers calculated about 100 years ago, then known values back to an assumed starting time of the universe. But the new data question not only the beginning of the universe in a single bang or event, but also the data on which the Big Bang theory was based. In the last 50 years, other theories about the nature of our universe have emerged. The most popular models, supported in particular by quantum physics, are the theories of the bubble universe and the multiverse. The bubble universe would consist of multiple bubble-shaped universes in a common space. Within this space, the individual universes could have arisen from their own respective starting points and move, expand, touch, and in places overlap or merge within this space. If these theories are correct, we would have to find some time in the universe phenomena which do not fit into the physical sizes of our universe, but show slightly or even totally deviating values, like Seer 1749 and the apparently much younger neighbor galaxies. A multiverse would be a cosmos in which many universes can exist side by side, inside each other, on top of each other, or even in parallel worlds. Also, here it would be a basic condition that we sometimes encounter celestial bodies, dimensions, or whole universes, which follow completely different regularities and or do not fit into the theories and physical values valid so far. So it remains exciting whether the appearance of Seer 1749 really represents the beginning of the discovery of completely new worlds and sizes in the universe, or whether the researchers only fell for a calculation or observation error. One thing is clear at this point. The James Webb Telescope has already shaken up the world of science with its first image, and we can certainly expect further extraordinary discoveries in the coming months and years. We at Simply Space will be sure to keep you updated and share the latest discoveries and theories with you. Subscribe to our channel if you want to know more about what James Webb has found and what unusual phenomena has appeared in space. We hope you enjoyed this video. Finally, leave us a comment and tell us what you think about the discovery of the unusual galaxy Seer 1749. Do you still believe in the Big Bang Theory? Or do you think that this view of the cosmos is long outdated by quantum physics alone? We're looking forward to your contribution. See you next time at Simply Space.